Hey there everyone, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Undertale. So now that we're back, let's go check out that surprise that she had for us. This is it. Oh god, that's, that's a terrible voice for her. Mm, mm, okay. A room of your own. I hope you like it. The head pads don't ever stop. Is something burning? Um, make yourself at home. Hey, I got my own room. Look at these cool toys. They don't interest you at all. <laughs> Aw, there's a pie here. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. An empty photo frame. It's really dusty. A box of kids' shoes in disparity of sizes. So clearly we're not the first kid down here. It's Toriel's diary. Read the circled passage. You read the passage. Why did the skeleton want a friend? Because she was feeling... Lonely. The rest of the page is filled with jokes of a similar caliber. I want to kill my shelf. Room under renovations. Wonder whose room that is. It's you. Deal. No. I'm going to keep making JoJo references every time I can get a chance to. Alright, let's move along this way. Hello, Goat Mom. Goat Mom, I demand your attention. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There's so many old books that I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? When can I go home? What? This... This is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? It's called 72 Uses for Snails. There, there's more than one, which is just using it for escargot. How about it? Uh, sure. Here's an exciting snail fact. Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? I would hope so. Yeah. Well, bother me if you need anything else. We, we need to leave, Goat Mom. I have to do something. Stay here. Goat Mom, no. Alright, so she must have gone this way. Mother of goats. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Goat mom! No. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. I'm only protecting you, do you understand? Go to your room. Do not try and stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? <laughs> You are just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Toriel blocks the way. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Okay, that did not work as I had thought. Toriel looks right through you. Toriel looks through you. Stop. I demand you stop. I'm not trying to catch these hands. Toriel is acting aloof. Chill with the fire. 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 
tutorial of three. Hmm? Ah, please. Mercy tutorial. Hmm. Oh, jeez, I'm not doing that one. What are you doing? Stop, I'm not trying to catch these hands. Attack or run away. Monster candy. Jesus, I'm so bad at this right now. Alright, bridge down. What are you proving this way? Ow. Ow, I'm just catching all these fireballs. Monster candy, please. Stop it. Ow. Almost had that one perfect. Fight me or leave. Stop it. Ow. Stop. Very first magical attack. Monster candy, save me. Ow. I'm so bad at this. Uh. Stop looking at me that way. I'm looking at you like I'm trying to live, woman. Live, please. Mercy. Spare my life. Goat mom, think of all the great goat times we had. Go away. I'm trying to, but you won't let me leave. Oh god. Oh lord. See? Let me leave. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh Let me leave, Toriel. Okay, okay. Okay, we're at this part of the game. Oh thank god. Okay, so he's <laughs> You hit Mercy enough time, she eventually just starts giving up on trying to hit you. Ow. I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I'll take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Goat Mom, that is probably the sweetest thing. Goodbye, my child. I'm gonna miss you, Goat Mom! Let's go, guys. I'm gonna start crying if I don't. Just kidding, I'm not gonna cry at all. But, yeah. That's a... That's a heartfelt moment there. But we're free of the ruins. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So, you're able to play by your own rules. He spares a life by a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. You didn't even kill anybody this time. But what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die. Until you're tired of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill her frustration? Oh, you give up entirely on this world. And let me inherit the power to control it. I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan is a regicide. There is so much more interesting. Thanks, I guess. Freaky damn flower.
All right. Ooh, everything's snowy. What's going on here? Hey, wait, whoa, whoa. How'd you do that? I saw that. Someone's behind us. Who in the falf? you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know. I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now, my brother, Papyrus. He's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. That's entirely too convenient. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then, I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend? I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. Hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. I said boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I'm getting a ton of work to do. A skeleton. Sans. Come on, you're smiling. I am and I hate it. Uh, why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition. Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. Ah! I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. I want a hot dog now. Actually, hey, hate to bother you, but could you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you just might make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous. Even if he tries to be. Thanks a million. I'll be up ahead. So he goes backwards and he's up ahead. Hmm. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. We're gonna save right there. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in. All that's attached to it. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me. Here's my number. You decided not to call. 
You send the line back out. Oh, and so, let me see, can I, can I do this? All statues, yep, 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 call me, here's my number. You said not to call. Hey, we still got the cell phone. Nobody picked up. Man, Goat Mom's ignoring us now. Use the box. Ooh, it's in the box! A tough glove. This is the box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will reappear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Aw. So, as I was saying about Undyne... What is this Three Stooges routine? I love this song, though. Oh god, they're spinning. Sans! Oh my god! Is that... A human? Uh... Actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! No. Oh my god! I is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undyne will... I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular! Ahem. <laughs> human! You shall not pass this area! I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you! I will then capture you, you will be delivered to the capital, then, then... I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue, only if you dare. <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. I kind of like Sans's voice being like that. Ring, ring, who's calling me? Hey, is your refrigerator running? No. Okay, I'll send someone over to fix it. Uh, <laughs> God damn. <laughs> okay, clever. Thanks for letting me know. Good communication is important. <laughs> ah, I hate you, Zans. Snowdrake flutters forth. You make a bad ice bun. I've heard that one. Hey. Hey. I don't know what you're spitting at me. But don't do it. You laugh at Snowdrake before it says anything funny. What are you laughing at? Dodge that. Dodge that. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna keep laughing at you, buddy, till you crack a freaking joke. Oh, yeah, I'm laughing at your hairline. Some hot mess. You make a bad ice bun. I've heard. How do I do this again? I know his. Okay, so Ice Drake has a really sad backstory, by the way. He boo the Snow Drake. Insults towards human. Dang. I don't think that was what I was supposed to do. Hey. Hey, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Snow Drake is smiling at its own bad joke. Oh my god. Say something funny, you clown. Yeah, this teen comedian fights to keep an active audience. M Macaroni and freeze. Oh my god, I had to check him. That's what it was. So now I just laugh. There we go. See? He laughs! I don't know what he said. Something about his dad. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just leave. Bye. There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Note, not yet a very famous royal guardsman. Papyrus. Absolutely no moving. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. Something was moving, for example. A human. I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggo blocks the way. I must pet the doggo. Doggo is too suspicious of your movements. Don't move an inch. So here's the cool thing. Blue attacks, as long as you don't move, it can't spot you. Doggo can't seem to find anything. You pet the doggo. <laughs> what? I've been pet. Pot, 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 pet, pet, pot, pet. It's confused. The doggo has been pet. 
you pet doggo. Where's that coming from? I gotta, I just gotta keep petting him. I wanna pet him like four times. Pet the doggo. There's no end to it! <laughs> just, just, just pet the doggo. Pet him again. Pet the doggo. You pet the doggo. Well, this is thorough! <laughs> now go ahead, some pet. I wanna do it again. You pet doggo. Okay, that's enough. He's so confused. You pet doggo. Okay, that's enough. I right, see so he's good. You won. S -s Something pet me. Something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Someone's been smoking dog treats. My dude. You smoke dog treats? Hello? Is anybody there? No? I'll see if he does some, something different. Are you two playing a trick on me? Real funny. Big guy? Is that you? Come on. Well, it's not the tall skeleton. He's too loud. Whoever you are, knock it off! I'm just trolling this dude now. Alright, he's done. How do you smoke a doggy treat? Hey. Wait. <clears throat> hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move, and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think blue stop signs. Alright, blue stop signs it is. Whee! What's up here? Hello, I am a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please. Take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Thank you. Good luck. You got a snowman piece. How am I doing? By I, I mean the piece that I gave you of me. Whee! North, ice, south, ice, west, ice, east, snowed in town, and ice. You're so lazy! You were napping all night! I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses! Oh ho! The human arrives! In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you'll find this one. Quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch any of the walls of this maze, the orb will admit a hearty zap. Sounds like fun. Because the amount of fun you'll have, will probably have, is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Hmm. Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Hold this, please. Bonk. Okay, try now. Mm-hmm. 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 Success. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sats. He will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> Hello, Sansy boy. Hey, thanks. My brother seems to like having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? He made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. He keeps calling it his battle body. Man, isn't my brother cool? I don't think so. I don't understand what these are selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer! Hello, would you like to buy some ice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now, just 15G. This. Here you go, have a super duper day. You got the ice cream. Thank you. 
All right, so this is a little mini game you can do. Just gotta, just gotta, just gotta not be garbage. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. Oh no. I'm just trash at this. So as you roll the snowball around, it just disappears. Bop. 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 See, there's a hole over there. There you go. It's basically golf. No! Get over it. Get into the... Yeah, I made it just in time. See? Purple. Even when you felt trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of ball. You are awarded 2G. This flag has nothing else to offer. Thank you, flagman. I don't know who gave it to you, but you're there. Wee! Sansy, my boy. I've been thinking about selling treats, too. Want some fried snow? It's just 5G. Did I say 5G? I meant 50G. Really? How about 5,000G? 50,000G. That's my final offer. What? You don't have the money. Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. God damn it. His. Hers. Smell danger rating. Snow smell. Snowman. White rating. Can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell. Puppy blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell. Humans. Green rating. Destroy at all costs. So snow can become yellow, but that's only because you pee on it. It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decahedron. Is it? Snow decahedron. There we go. So that's a uh, ten-sided snowball. Human, I hope you're ready for... Sense! Where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Monster Kids, Monster Kids Word Search. Ice E. Hey kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? Um. Hmm. Is are these words even here? I see monster. S skeletons. It's all monster and skeletons. Do I see Sig? Sig, right there. Uh. Yes, Falkenberger. It's right there. Okay, what about hot? It's hot in there. Cigars is right there. Uh, mermaid. Mermaid, right there. What about robot. Robot. There it is. Uh, fall, fall. Where would fall be? Ah, I found fall. Okay. So the words are definitely here. Okay, there's winter. There's summer. I need spring. See if I can find an S next to a P. Not that first row. Not the second one. Not that third one. Not the fourth one. Not that one. Ah, found it. Spring, right there, along the edge. Aha! Yes. I solved the puzzle, Sans. Sans, that didn't do anything. Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, 
Junior Jumbo is easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? An easy peasy wood scramble? As for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder, jumbles or crosswords? Um, honestly, they're both easy, so. I mean, I would say the jumble is easier. Uh, I guess, because you have to actually know the word. You two are weird. Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I just fill in all the boxes with the letter Z. Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore. Yeah! Papyrus finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday, he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. Yeah, my voice for Santa's changed a lot. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy the spaghetti. Little do you know, the spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again by the great Papyrus. <laughs> Papyrus. Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti, it fills you with determination. It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. It's an unplugged microwave. All the settings say spaghetti. Oh man, it's terrible. Do, 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 do. Lesser dog appears. It's a pet, 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 and pet. It's pet. You barely lifted your hand, and Lesser dog got excited. It's a pupper. Pet the pupper. I don't care if I'm getting hurt. I must pet the pupper with my face. Do, 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 do. What's up here? Are you telling me there's something up here? So in between the trees, there's something. There's a switch hidden in the snow. Okay. Interesting. Aha! <gasps> Grim Reaper dogs! What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell! Hmm, here's that weird smell. It makes me want to eliminate. Eliminate you! <laughs> Doggy assaults you. Dogami and Dogaressa. You roll around in the dirt and snow. You smell like a weird puppy. Let's kick human tail. Do humans have tails? Ow. Don't move. Don't move. Ow, I was supposed to move on that one. The dogs may want to re-smell you. The dog sniff you again. After rolling in the dirt, you smell all right. Wait, that smells like... Are you actually a little puppy? Stop. Don't move. Ow, let's just move there. Okay. The dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. You pet dog on me. Wow, pet by another pup. Oh, don't leave me out. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Whoa. The dogs think that you may be a lost puppy. You pet dog arrested. What about me? A dog that pets dogs. That's amazing. All right. Ooh, oh. Ooh close. Mercy. All right. Dogs can better the dogs. A new world has been opened for us. Thanks, weird puppy. That's some dog heresy, I swear. So we gotta hit that one. Go around it and, 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 and boom. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? What do you tell Papyrus about his spaghetti? I ate it? Really? Wow we no one's ever enjoyed my cooking before. Well then, fret not human. I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want. Yeah. <laughs>
Human. Hmm. How do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different. And as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I'm saying is, hurry not, human. I, the great papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed. Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Hmm. I'm not sure how this looks like his face. But we'll pretend that it does. I goofed that one up already, I think. Yep, I goofed it up big time. How am I supposed to do this again? I hit this, I hit that. There we go. Ba bam. Wow, you solved it. And you did it without my help. Incredible, I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. Well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, hey. Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help. Which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. Sans, you lazy bag of banoodles. Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle. It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. You see these tiles? Once I throw the switch, they'll begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you'll have to fight a monster. Orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious. Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery soap smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? Understand the explanation? No. Okay, I guess I'll repeat myself. Oh, they changed it, okay. So you can actually read these. Because before it was just kind of like a... It'll speed on through this and you won't be able to... Brown tile. Whoa, wait a second. There are no brown tiles. Purple smell like lemons. Why don't the yellow smell lemony? Um, wait. Did I mix up green and blue? Oh, God. He mixed them up. The blue ones are water. Pink tiles? I don't remember. Wait. Those don't do anything. Okay. You understand better now? Um, we're just... We're gonna say even less. Okay. You know what? How about you just do this puzzle on your own? I'll leave the instructions. Just read them. And when you understand it, you can throw the switch. And do it at your own pace. Good luck. Yeah, hey, hey. My dude. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up, next year he'll even make something edible. It's a legible chicken scratch. The machine isn't working. Oh, okay. So you see what happened was if you said yes to any of it, it was spouted all of it and it would just been all pink anyway. This dog is staring blankly into the snow, waiting for it to turn into art. Awesome. But yeah, for now guys, I'm gonna leave the episode off here. Knowing the dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog, it fills you with determination. So we're gonna leave it off here guys. I'll catch you all here next time on Let's Play Undertale where we actually make it all the way to the next town, which is Snowden. So, other than that, guys, if you liked today's episode, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I'm going to take this game a little slower than everything else. You know, I want to get into a good vibe and, you know, good story pacing, stuff like that. And, you know, we'll handle the rest of Papyrus and his fun shenanigans later. Other than that, guys, I hope to see you all here next time on Let's Play Undertale. Go ahead and give the video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it with your friends. Let them know that, you know, I'm out here doing my thing, having fun. And I will catch you all here next time. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. That way, whenever I drop a new episode, you guys are already up to date. And leave a comment down below. Other than that, guys, I hope you all have a great and wonderful day.